Okay, welcome to this cast. It is uh, a cast of the Winners Round 2 of the Defiler Tour um, number 43. This is a PvP on um, Gaia. And it's SGS Ice Draco against Arca Krima. Um, I didn't really have uh, the exact colors on my overlay. So I try to um, I try to get as close as possible. I hope I hope you can see it. I mean, they're chatting, so you've got some time to familiarize yourself with uh, with the colors. Um, PvP on uh, on Gaia. I mean, it's pretty close distance, so I would think that. Some kind of uh, whoa. some kind of um, two gate play should be quite effective. At least in my opinion, it's quite a short way uh, between the bases. But let's see uh, what the players have to say about that. And apparently, it was quite laggy. <laughs> So both players are uh, throwing down a gateway at almost exactly the same time. And uh, the players are worrying about delaying the tour, which is okay. And um, Arca going for um, an assimilator as well as Ice Draco. So they're pl uh, both going for some kind of tech play um, not bothering with uh, going for any kind of um, early pressure builds um, I don't think you can spawn there but I don't know guy has do you I don't even know no I don't know. Nothing fancy going on, I mean, um, Ice Draco put uh, three guys on gas, um, so did uh, so did Arca, and uh, I think they both got a Zelt first, yeah, but I, s no, I just, I thought uh, Ice Draco was gonna go um, for some harassment with his Zealot, and he loses the probe, this is pretty, um, it's pretty unfortunate for him because now he's pretty much blind and if you if there's one thing you don't want to be in a PvP is uh, you don't want to be blind early on because that basically gives your opponent the chance uh, to do like any kind of thing like he can do anything um, if you're blind it greatly uh, increases the risk of him going for um, some kind of DT play uh, without getting range so some really early DTs and um, if you prepare for that you might just run into some kind of like if you go really early uh, ops you might just uh, run to a guy who's just going for a very um, economic build like going for um, one gate expansion or he could just like three gate you uh, three gate reaver whatever but uh, actually both players are blind and Ice Draco is uh, going to go for some kind of DT play. Yep, getting the second gateway and let's see. One gate robo from uh, Arca because he's blind. So he's going for the one gate robo. Um, the question is, is he uh, going for early reavers of, of a one gate robo or is he um, like try to get the really early really early reaver and uh, get an easy win <laughs> apparently it's pretty bad and as I said Ice Draco going for the DT build is um, is Arca going to go for knobs first observatory first or is he going to go shuttle orbs reaver or is he just going to skip the orbs which would result in him losing instantly um, still no range, there should be, yep, there's the forge. So he's going to um, expand behind this DT attack. 
Very nice timing on the build, by the way. Both the T's uh, being produced at the exact same time. And he's pushing out, so he's going to get um, Pylon at his natural, going to get some cannon soon. And he's going for the shuttle observatory. So the timing should be kind of tight. I think he might have to um, he might have to block his uh, his ramp for a short amount of time. Well, I don't know. Um, he might even ha oh no, he won't. The timing's perfect. Okay, my bad. I thought it could get close, but apparently I'm not too familiar with uh, the the walk speed of uh, DTs. But the question is, um, is uh, Arca going to be able to uh, bust down? Oh, he's gonna... Okay, he has to block the ramp, so... Actually, actually, I know what's going on. And he lets one DT get in. Oh, this might be trouble. He gets one. He mustn't let uh, Ice Draco hide his DT. Okay, he's going for a drone. One drone and some cannons up for Ice Draco. So the question is, is um, Arca going for the immediate kill? Which I usually prefer to do um, against any kind of DT opening. Because your opponent will have Storm quite fast. As you can see, Storm's already researching. And dealing with that, it's kind of tricky because uh, your attack is going to be way later. I mean, your opponent probably has uh, skipped on his uh, eco somewhat. I mean, usually he has to skip on eco if you threaten to kill him exact uh, to kill him immediately. So you might be able to um, still catch up economically, but you can never be really sure and. Um, the T's also force you to stay kind of defensive, at least with your ops, that is. Because you might always um, sneak a DT in your back. I got played against some guy and I was like, yeah, okay, he, he went for two DT's, now I can go kill him. And he actually got another two DT's, so um, he basically just backstabbed me when I wasn't at home, when I didn't have any, uh, any ops with me. Any ops at my main. And, uh... His storm is about to finish, so he might be able to defend his reaver attack. It actually uh, greatly depends on um, Arca's micro. And the question is, is he going to be able? Oh, mm, that was kind of a wasted storm. Oh my God, good storm on the dragoons. Oh my God, so much damage. He might have to snipe. Ah, he should have sniped the Templar. And he's going in with the heavily damaged dragoons. That's not. Oh, the most effective. Oh my god, the shuttle isn't there. Arca needs to micro. Oh, he gets... Ah, he might lose. Yeah, he's coming. Whoa, okay. I thought he might lose the reaver, but yeah. Luckily for him, he didn't. And this could very well be the end of this game right away. But there's a DT coming out. Oh, sniped. Gets a second cannon, but there's a DT and a Arkham out. And uh, those Dragoons are heavily damaged. So Arca basically trying to micro for the game. He hasn't expanded yet, as you can see in the mini map. And um, Ice Draco is defending with all he's got, and he's actually going to hold here. Uh, second Reaver coming out. The shuttle should be alive. Yeah, there it is. Um, Ice Draco is adding on some gateways. While Arca is still on two gateways, now he has put down his expansion. But he is uh, quite... Oh, he should use those. But he's uh, quite far behind, actually, um, economically now. And he's also behind on tech, to a certain extent. I mean, he doesn't have speed. Does he have speed? Yep, speed's done. Oh, what's the speed? I don't know. Doesn't matter. He doesn't have storm, so he's behind on that. And uh, does Draco have... Um, nope, he doesn't have an observatory, so... So what Arca could be doing, which is kind of a gamble actually, but you can try and do it, is uh, get some DTs now, 
try to contain your opponent till he has uh, ops out and go for third base to catch up economically. But um, the other thing you can do is obviously, that's what uh, Arka is going for now, is try to do some harassment with your Reaver. Because your opponent doesn't have really doesn't really have any uh, harassing units. He only has uh, high templars, and he won't have. Uh oh, he mustn't let. Okay, gets it back. He doesn't have any shuttles, so he won't be able to harass with his high templars um, until he has uh, storm. Uh, going in. Nope, pulling back out. So he got a cannon. He got. Three probes actually, because there are no more probes mining in uh, on the gas. No more probes mine gas, and um, both players gearing up for mid late ish game. Is Arka attacking? He's getting his second gas, so he might be looking towards. Um, yeah, there it is. Necessito looking towards High Temple himself. And um, second can going down in the mineral line of Ice Draco. He's also putting down the can at the natural mineral line, but that's kind of unnecessary. I mean, if he gets storm drop, the can won't do much, and going for um, some kind of river drop is going is usually going to be denied by those dragoons that are uh, in the natural anyway. I mean, it's co it's okay just to be f uh, just to feel safe because your opponent might get scared away by one cannon, but he can actually um, uh, third base going on for Aka by the way, which is kind of hidden hidden third base hidden ish, but it's a vulnerable place to expand to actually. I don't know if I agree with that choice. Um, and he's gearing up for the attack, so just gonna split the ward real quick. 